Hey, it's Michelle from Oregon. I'm going to show you how to make the luminaries that I posted on your Stampscapes page. Thank you for all the wonderful comments, by the way. So they are flat when they're not assembled, of course. And I'll have the supply list in the comments section. So I just start with your standard vellum and I fold it in half and I generally get two luminaries out of it. Sometimes I make them shorter or longer. So a little pro tip, I put it on a black piece of paper so I can see to fold it in half evenly. And if you get that edge, the folded edge wet, it tears a lot easier. So hang on, I'll go do that. So now I have two pieces. I can make two luminaries and sometimes I do that. So I stamped my images on just a piece of scrap paper, just kind of loosely roughed it out, you know, to know where to color. And then I placed the vellum on top of it and started coloring on top. You can't emboss and then add all the alcohol. It will remove your embossing. So you have to do all the alcohol ink coloring first and then do your stamping. I also use um, removable double stick tape to hold down my vellum while I'm working so it doesn't move around because I need it to stay where my design is. So I kind of center it where the, I think the middle is going to be. And I want the grass way at the bottom. Kind of messed around with that on the design of the other one. Then I use my Copic markers first, which are fantastic. I just have a few colors because someone gifted them to me. I use the brush end and I just colored the all the rocks in. These are great. I use my brush on the first one and it's not as accurate, of course, because alcohol inks, when you use them with the brush, they want to spread out and I'll show you when I do the background, the sky and the grass. But um, these, you can go over them too and layer them because... I'm not really getting the alcohol ink effect I want with this, and that's what you're supposed to do. If you haven't worked with alcohol inks before, I urge you to watch some tutorials on them and practice with them first. You could use watercolors on this, but vellum is very picky and delicate. You It wrinkles really easily too, so you have to be careful of that. It doesn't like to be really wet because it gets wrinkled, of course. So I just keep going over this. Um, and then I'll do it a little bit so you can see. It kind of um, starts giving you the effect you want from the alcohol inks as you do more and more layers. And it dries very, very quickly. So, And then it doesn't really matter that I'm going to come in and do some green over this brown because it just like separates out just fine. It'll, it'll work just fine. And like some things that might like muddy together. So I just went over all the rocks. And I'll show you a close-up in a second. And uh, then I did the sky. I only have two colors of green, so I used the light, I think, for the grass and the darker for the trees. And I just went in and did this really quickly. I realized on the second one that I didn't really need to color all of this in too much. I can just go ahead and do my background. Um, here are all of the inks I used, and I'll show you how they go on. And then I have a little dish of isopropyl alcohol, just regular, I use 99%, and I use brushes for that. I use dedicated ones because the alcohol is really hard on the brushes. These are just funky brushes that I really like a lot. So you put the isopropyl on first. You can put the alcohol ink on first, but um, I prefer to put the iso on. I'll show you both because if you put the alcohol on, it dries. It does its own thing. It dries really, really fast. Let me zoom in a little bit. Um, but it, it'll just dry and not do anything. So you have to have the iso or blending solution, but we won't get into that. That's an extra lesson um, to spread it around and to get the effect that you want. So I want some purple in there also. 
I quite often will just put it on my brush like this if I can get in here because it will sometimes the bottle will just blur out ink everywhere and where I don't want it so and then I'll get a little more ISO on here oh good there's a fly that's joined us that's awesome all right now I don't want too much ink on here so I'll kind of spread it out a bit I think I want a little more blue so hang on 